Yo, 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 man. Hey, man. Check it, man. Hey, it's your boy, ECEO, Boss Talk 101. Say, man, we come down here to celebrate E's birthday with him. Pow. It's your birthday. I man, you know, I want. Man. My birthday. Say, I, that new track, man. Even, even yet and still, I hate to go straight to the mood like an idiot. <laughs> But, but I heard going the on. music, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, you you got new music even in the hospital, man. Yeah, man. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, still, I, I got I got a studio under my bed. Hey, man. <laughs> so, hey, music, yeah. man. But on a, on a, on a, on a note, real note, man. Just want to show love to you know me and you. We done did a few interviews now, man. You like uh -huh. my favorite interviewer, man. Like me and you, <laughs> we we just like hand and glove, man. We gonna make it work. You, you know what I'm saying? You, Keep you each my other bro, right, bro. You my bro, bro. Like I didn't hesitate the first time. <laughs> Not at all. You know, I'm saying I be noticing a lot of artists sometimes they be like you know what I'm saying like who is this who they got who is this I didn't give a damn who you had did or not it was just that I had already seen you just putting in work yeah you know yeah what I'm yeah yeah and I know how it is with especially with this grind for yeah. example I can go to a concert I can I can drop a mixtape I can drop a song I could go to a, and get a feature yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, on the other hand, you got to work triple yeah, I what I got to do. Hard. You feel what I'm saying? To make sure other people want to be uh, engaged with you and, right. and, and sponsorships. And a lot of times people don't understand it. You no, feel what I'm saying? They, they don't. They think the SD card is cheap. <laughs> You know, but you know, and, and like the top it off, you know, us and our relationship with Big Tony, you know, yeah, I, I, you boy. know, that that was that's the thing that made it to where it drove me to you first. Cause you used to always come down and I'll play our hometown, right. and you would perform. So, but before that, it was in Jefferson, you, you, Jefferson Town. I don't know but, why I always want to. But get I'm, I'm from Smithland, but I always would be there with with Big Tony, cause that's that's my boy. But Marshall right up the street, that's what yeah, I'm that's saying. What that. But the thing Jefferson. is, you always show mad love to everybody in the South, man. Like. Like you do, man. So I always, I'm, I'm a true Southerner. So swinging and banging and all that stuff, I came up with that. So I just don't play about that. You know, when people mention their top five albums, that's one of my top five. And a lot of people don't do that because we from the South. Right. I got to make it known. We ain't playing no games about these down here. Say, you know what I'm saying? Say, man, I seen, I seen a list on Instagram the other day. Uh... Uh, it was the top 10 most influential albums out of Houston. Really? Man, once I seen number one and two, I just ain't want to see the rest of the exactly, list. Exactly, because I think it's, it's going to be a little bias to to, to, yeah. to, to, to age, to, to culture, to, to people, where they from, they all had, that. They had Face Out and Get A Boy there. Then everything else, a lot of the other stuff was just like some, I, you know, it took everything in me not to come in on there. Oh, I don't know why man, it feel like, it feel like I got a pinky ring on. <laughs> this is my, oh, this is my oxygen monitor. Man. Yeah, it took everything on me, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes not you just got nothing. No, because I, you know, I, I got overlooked a lot of times, but that's what the fuel me to go that's to where I'm going. You. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, people try to throw things at the arm, and a lot of times we, 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 Self, you know what I'm saying? Almost self destruct sometimes. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Like, I done dropped the goddamn grenade on my foot. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. We do you it on our own, so you gotta be careful. So you gotta be careful. So, but music wise, I hate to say this, man. God brought me through a bunch of things. A bunch, a bunch of, things. of things, yeah. And the reason he did it, I'm telling you, a journalist told me, a couple of journalists, they uh -huh. say, hey, as journalists, writers, we, we, we want to see you as the next representative of the South. Wow. As of the same way Pimp C, the Rick Ross, yeah, because yeah. you never got your just No, no, you, and, and you deserved it because, like I say, lyrically and just the culture, you are, you are, the, you're the culture. So, I got, you know, I'm going to tap in just a little bit. And on. I'm going to die this when I get out of here. Say, hey, look out, man. Don't do that, man. We don't disrespect the brain. I'm just praying to live that. Man, I can't. I, I, it's just for certain shows because I cannot have. When, <laughs> when I, you know, I'm a, I'm a real, I'm going to tell you, last year when I had got a DWI, they nigga come up to me talking about, what's up, school? I said, say, nigga, school, nigga. Ain't nothing old school about me but some money. Don't call me old school. They see gray hair. They think everybody in school. I got a homeboy. He they do me like that. He's 24 years old. He full of gray hair. But I would just do that for the youngsters who don't understand. Let me ask you this, man. I really like, like, with you going through it. I interviewed you in Houston where you were fighting cancer.
cancer. You know, you were mm-hmm. you were you were beating cancer at the time. Right. Um, and so, how did that end up? You know, far as far as oh, you still dealing with that now? Man, I'm I'm pretty much done with it. But there's a there's a there's a new drug, right? Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce mine? Key Trudel? Key Trudel, for example. So I got my chemo put right here. Okay. So I had colon cancer. Okay. So they cut the big ass, big ass hole, cut the tumor out. And right before I was finna start chemo, my back kept hurting. See, that's what drove me to the hospital. Yeah. I was like, man, my back kept hurting. And then all of a sudden, you know, I couldn't urinate. It yeah. was like, ah! Everything in you. Like, 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 ah. Yeah. When I'm visiting my mama, I go to the hospital. They give me some damn STD. Uh, like I say, man, man, I ain't got burned. I said, ain't dead. Yes. Yeah. So when I get back to Houston and, and, and come to find out, uh, I had a little bit of small tumor okay. blocking my bladder. bladder. yeah. In my bladder. So that's when they gave me the nephrosomy bags. And the key truder. They say, I didn't need chemo. Yeah. They say, I could take the key truder and be, and, you know what I'm yeah. saying, and beat it that way because it was so small. Yeah. So I started taking the treatments. You you come for an hour, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they just they put you through the IV. Yeah, IV in you. So after the, after the second one, uh, man, I pissed like 30 times. Yeah, 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 yeah. In one, like, in, within an hour or two. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So the doctor was like, he was like, I, I called the doctor like something wrong. He was like, "No, nah, that's great." He, he said, "I can't believe you're supposed to do that." He said, "That mean is is shrinking out the way." Yeah, man. So I, I had two treatments left. He said, "After these two treatments, we should be fine. We should you should be done." Uh-huh. There's a company that's regulating uh, insurance companies. Yeah, and and what happened was the company the company told my insurance company we're gonna no longer. Uh, approve of the key truder because it's really made for lung cancer yeah. and it's not proven that it works for other cancers yeah. but all the doctors know it, it works, works for, for other cancers, cancers. Yeah. and it costs seven down dollars a shot oh it's going oh they're going they're going they're going to hit saying? you so so ain't going to be no getting uh, it for easy yeah so they was tripping on that and then <clears throat> the um so you know i don't have man at first, you know what I'm saying, I used to be in pain, pain, pain. Man, once I came home, there was no pain. You know what I'm saying? No they tried to give me like no code. First, they tried to give me morphine pill. Yeah. I didn't understand. <clears throat> I did not understand what the doctor told me. But the doctor told me, he said, this is what it sounded like, he said. Take one in the morning, afternoon, in the evening, and at night, and whenever. <laughs> like he wants you to constantly take them. That's, that's what he told. That's what it sounded like he said. But what he really meant was, take one when you wake up. If you have any pain during the day, man, I took five of them. I'm in the truck like this. (laughs) Don't know what niggas going on. I said, I'm like, Daddy, what's wrong with you? I was like, man, hey, man. I was like, say, man, take me to the hospital. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, narcos, I don't want oxygen and all that. You know what I'm saying? They sent me back to the hospital twice. So, I just took straight Tylenol. Uh, they gave me, told me to take some, eat some CBD edibles. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Yeah, so, I, you, know, you were cool with that. I was great with that. <laughs> but, I, you know what I'm saying? Them boys get, I ain't going to lie. Them boys got high. Yeah. I don't like edibles. No. No, but they, 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 how they do you? Yeah, that's a stomach hot, man. I don't like the metal, but that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit. So I just took straight time now, prayed, boom, that feel good, feel wow. wonderful. You know what I'm saying? Man, the thing I, I trip off of is, you know, people, you know, a lot of people have a lot to say, you know. Uh, your uh, the, the episodes or whatever you have, your different things that happen with you. I talked to Baby Sam a little bit about it yesterday. He was like, man, a lot of time it don't be that he own anything. He just have like a, a like a, uh, like something triggers it. I don't and, know what and, that be, man. I, so, one time we was in a car coming from my mama house. You know what I'm saying? And like, uh, say for example, like like me and him, uh, we all in the car. Three, just say we three deep. You know, and, and it's 
just been back and forth conversation, 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 conversation. It can, it, I don't know what it is. It could be certain things, certain things that might trigger me. You feel me? And when it triggers me, if I go to that level, I just go to that level yeah, of, yeah. of almost being so angry or something that I black out. That's what he said yesterday. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and don't even know that I blacked out. That's and, and, why I don't be around certain type of shit. Yeah. That, yeah. you know, look, when I was, at, when we was coming up in school, bro, in the school to click, everybody named Mama used to like smoke water. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Sister, that was a popular thing. Uh, yeah, I, like they are, like a lot of them, a lot of, a lot of other people like pop pills and shit. Yeah. I, I ain't like no pills. Now, like, you feel me? I ain't doing it. But smoke, you know what I'm saying? Smoking, uh, water, uh, syrup, hitting lines. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was like a that was the normal thing. Constant, yeah. constant party. And so, man, I quit that shit. For, I quit that shit for 20 years. Yeah, yeah. And I went around certain people that were still doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so on this one particular day, this this nigga got that California. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I'm thinking there's some of that little bullshit weak shit. So yeah. I'm just like, man, let me hit it. And then like, I said, shit, give me one of my own. Yeah. Shit, next thing I know, um Damn. Blackout wait, tripping. Watch this. I wake up. When I wake up, I'm sitting down. I'm at the house. I ain't. I ain't. I wasn't at that house. I was at the house right there. Mm-hmm. So when I wake up, I'm sitting down. Fucking Rolex gone. Wow. My my shirt wet. So I say, man, what the fuck happened? So the dude like, man, ain't nothing happened. I say, say, my nigga. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. That's what my shit did. Damn. The people next door, you know what I'm saying, say, man, you know what I'm saying, he was out there, we, you know what I'm saying, we was, called the police. Was this when you was you, outside, when they had recorded you? Right. He okay. Say, he say, we called the police, cause, you know what I'm saying, and we tried to, you know, hurry up and bring you back over here, so, you know what I'm saying, I'm, I'm, you know, I give you my comedy side at this point. What, what people don't people don't understand is, that's a certain thing we call dope D. Yeah, yeah. If you get too high. Yeah, yeah. Like, you might, you know, it might be, you might be more like that. The high you get, you, 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 you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, they call me high with the dope dick. You know what I'm saying? But that day, everybody was concerned, and and I, I definitely was one concerned. No, no, no. Real people was concerned. Mine, I was because you I was, got sent that because you real. And I was like, what the heck is this? But I real. never, it never, it never went no further. But the thing was, I was like, okay, well, who out here with camera? And, and that's what I talked about. Because you're a real one. Like, come to find out the. It was one of them little youngsters. little youngsters. And the same little youngster, you know what I'm saying? That's the one I was asking what happened. So I wound up calling it. Right when it went, you know, soon as I said. But it was too late. You feel what I'm saying? But God, that needed to happen to me. Okay, but what, did they steal did your you, role in? Nah, I don't know. What happened to I it? Lost. Just it be, was gone. Be, being a monkey. Okay. Jungle. Crazy. <laughs> so you never so, got that watch back? No, 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 no. Okay. So, so I had about, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that needed to happen to me. It needed because, to happen. Because it needed to tell me, keep your ass from off that street. That's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Because people go through, man, I'm going to be honest with you. Being one that was locked up with some people, I seen some guys that when they did do water, wet, they, they always was a reaction. They wasn't even, it, we was locked up, so they didn't have nothing, but they still would have reactions to certain things right. to where it affect them certain ways. Right. And that's the part where it gets tricky because you may or may not be on anything and anything can happen. Right, but here's a good thing. I found out every every punk ass nigga that laughed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You that's all, that's the eye opener. That, that's all, so <laughs> so every whole every punk ass nigga that shit and then laughed when they saw me the next time. They don't know I know they. They don't even know. They couldn't even hardly stand and look at my face. Couldn't look you in the eye. Couldn't look me in the eye. Because they know one thing. <laughs> I ain't gonna just smash you. It's a couple of niggas I slap shit out there, but I ain't yeah. gonna do nothing to that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got a son. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, trying, yeah, to, be, yeah. I'm trying to, to be respectful in this Correct. rap game. Correct. It's hard to be respectful in this rap no, game no. when there's yep. so many fake ass, fool gay ass people. Yeah. But I seen so many, and we took account. <laughs> 
35 niggas the one that shared in their last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now all you y'all stay y'all punk ass right back there and y'all I for open real up. can't get nowhere. I open, I open up. Yeah, what do you see so, who down? So Okay, let's let's go to the night. As we know you already, we know you had to have your leg cut off because of of the accident. Um, that night at the Cliff Club, uh, you had a show, right? right. Me and Lo, you and Lo. Oh, mm-hmm. matter of fact, and uh, and okay, so tell, kind of tell me I, what I, happened. I, I, like they brought us some drinks and shit, then, but I got some news that was like. Some heartfelt news. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? This was before your performance and everything. Yeah, yeah, just before I left. Okay. I got the call before I got to the club. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? But while I'm at the club, I got the news again. So now I'm trying to, I'm trying to mentally hold this news in. Mm-hmm. Without letting my anger okay. on somebody else. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And you know, you know, sometimes people don't understand. First thing in their mind is like, oh man, just down the ground with this, down in there. Nigga, you don't know what the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when I went out, you know, like to calm down, you know what I'm saying? We park right on the street. You feel what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even. I don't even know because I'm going to my other part of the truck. The, 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 the truck we came in, we was parked on the other end. I don't even know. It's, it's a goddamn six uh, uh, six lane freeway right there. You don't even. You ain't even know that. I don't even know it. I'm just. I'm just like man, fuck, uh, man, man, walking by that and pow. And it happened just that fast. Yeah, but the car knocked me in the street, in the middle okay. of the freeway. I'm, I get up. Wow. 60, 50, 60, 70 miles ran over. Wow. So yeah. let me yeah. ask you this. Were, were you even on, were you on anything to, to nah. debunk that? Because nah. people are saying that you was on weed and you know nah. that. But I you were just, you just had, had a, You got, me, me and Sam, they ain't been together three, like, damn, man. They, I'm a real nigga. I would have said I was. I wasn't on shit. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? But drinking, uh, that's something yeah, you do. I, I had, I had, oh, I had two drinks. But that, you know, I had the news that I got would, what, would have what made the news I got would make would make you like kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? It pretty much was some news that pretty much you was it just furiated you so much that you pretty much say it was like it was like it was like look, what you gonna do about it? Yeah, you can you can either go over here and get you know what I'm saying get life in prison. Yeah, for this news, or you can just woosha. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and so me what I tried to do was try to woosha. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so my partner JB who who was standing there with baby Sam knee was hurt. Yeah, yeah, he told me that. That was yesterday. JB, JB, he never been around me if I have an episode. Episode, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, so so by him never being around me with episode, he just like this. You feel me? Walk yeah. with me like Sam like, nah nigga. Nah nigga, grab that nigga, hold his arm, nigga, make sure he's straight, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my other partner over there, he on the phone. You feel what I'm saying? So Cause he never been with me with with the episode. Sam, the only one that know, you feel me, out of out of this the group that's with us. So, but he's near, so he can get over there. By that, bam, I got hit. Yeah. Then bam, I get hit again. I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got yeah, hit by two different vehicles. Two different vehicles. Okay. It was a hit and run. You feel what I'm saying? So, so that, so the vehicle, they didn't even stop. They didn't even stop. Both of but, them. Both of them. Mm-hmm. Both of them. But the good thing is, the one that straight on my leg. You feel me? Uh, shout out to Detective, uh, Detective, uh, I don't want to say, I ain't going to say the name, but Detective J, she, she really put in work for me. And she found the car, right? She did. And the change they bump. I bet. So she went and did, uh, and found the old bump. My DNA was all over the bump. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You know, the, the thing is, man, like, I just, like, you hear all the stories, people, Say different things. And every, that's not that's not their past. Of course, that's for thing. I definitely is trying to understand how to move forward when people keep pulling you back. To me, it's it, it's it's not. It don't bother me. But you know what? There's a flaw in all eight clouds. That's real. 
I'm talking about a flower that's worse than mine. You know, they, you know, they got bigger flowers than me. You feel me? They say what they want to say. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. Yeah, you say the people who who doing all this chatter got all. Everybody got some. I tell people all the time. I say if. People start seeing what everybody dealing with, or we'll have an even playing field. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff start falling out. For real. You know, I start trying to hide mine right here, right now. For real. You For be real. trying to hide yours. Exactly. Because everybody got something. But the thing is, everybody want to look at everybody else's to try to keep attention off what they got. And guess what? A lot, yeah. of, a lot of times the people that's, that's talking, all you got to do is you look back at them and be like, have you accomplished what I accomplished? Oh, that's real. Do you got what I got? That's real. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's something that makes you... You go look in the mirror. You know, I don't think people really... I know I didn't understand, like, that you still would have issues where you would get into angry positions and then flip out to where you it would trigger you to go back to a spot to where you don't even know what happened. Mm -hmm. That's But I understood. That's as soon as I learned that, I understood it because of the people I've been around. So I know everybody's affected different. But see, the more, you know what I'm saying, it's like the 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 karma, the karma mind vibe. See, this is, what I, this is what I found out. If you riding in a car for three, you on a three hour trip, and all you listening to is boom, boom, shoot them up, bang, bang, motherfucker, fuck you, nigga, I'm gonna kill you. Blah, 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 blah. That whole trip. Your mind is really getting, you feel me? You really like. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that don't be some Frankie Beverly Mays. Be good. I'm saying cool. Yeah. Because what they don't be on the scene, we got, a lot of us got PTSD too. For sure. No, that's something that, that's what I related to. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, you know, uh, mental health issues from, you look how many people we done lost in the music industry. Man. Like that I done lost. I was just talking about that. I got post trap syndrome. That's what I call it. <laughs> post trap syndrome. PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. For real, I got both traps in that one, man. No, I get it. Look, I had to wake up as a kid. All my life. Wondering how much. Am I going to die today? Mm -hmm. Am I going to kill somebody today? Boom, I got a murder charge. It's self-defense. Man, I'm risking my life and freedom to live for a bunch of years. Let me ask you, I didn't know you, you got a murder charge yeah, before? Yeah, I got my murder charge. How, how old was you when that happened? I was like 19. And you got a murder charge? Yeah, some niggas, some niggas broke in my house. You know we had all the fancy cars. Yeah, yeah, house. for sure. So uh, this chick set us up. What we would do is, we had a big ass live crib. Uh, the swing, ocean of swing in the bank. Yeah, 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 for sure. We got the fish tank in the Told wild. Told you had them TVs yeah. in that damn yeah. car. Yeah. I ain't gonna never we, forget that. We got the fish tank in the wild. And all that, we lied. So, for example, if you at the crib and you finna go, you grab the key off the counter, you go to the burglar bar. You unlock the burglar bar, go outside, you lock it, and you just throw the key back down the hall. Yeah. That was the way we did mm -hmm. things. So this particular chick that was over there, video, she kept the key. Mm. We back there in, 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 my, in my room, jamming beats, listening beats. It's me, uh, Steve, Big Pep, and I, I want to say uh, uh, Will. Yeah, Will. So all of a sudden, you know, we get, we get in the house remodeled anyway. When you come through the hallway, if you don't know, this ladder is holding up that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that at the door. But if you don't know that, you, so next thing we know, we are boom, boom. Damn, somebody hit that at the door. I got an AK, but the AK is in the next room. Yeah. Ain't nothing in this room but a radio and switches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course. So all of a sudden, we're like, man, what the fuck that? So by the time I get up and go to the door, the nigga come through the door. Skip my ass. You feel me? 357. Wow. So he's like, nigga, y'all give it up. He shoot my roommate in the head. Dang, he killed him? Uh-uh, he, he survived. Wow. But when he shot him, he looked like he did. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Because he just... <laughs> he looked at my other partner. Nigga, pow! 
Wow. That nigga took out running. Boom, boom, boom. And the show, he shot in the show. What a partner run. It's just me and him and them. You know what I'm saying? He said, nigga, lay down, nigga. You laid it down. I laid it down. For a minute? For a minute. Then that motherfucker, that same nigga who, who black out, that nigga kicked in. Oh, whoa, so, so, whoa, so, okay. So, that nigga, I said, yeah, pow. Took the whole pistol. Took the pistol from him. Took the pistol. He turned and tried to run, ran right to the wall. I lit his ass up. Got so you shot him with his pistol? Shot him with his pistol. You feel what I'm saying? The police come. They see my watch. I had a live at watch. They like, oh, this drug deal gone bad. I said, man, I, I don't even know this nigga. You know, yeah. damn, I ain't no drug deal gone bad. Anyway. And I ain't like, no black cop. Of course. Boys in the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I used to see him for years, years after that. <laughs> for me, I used to see him for years after that. So you know what I'm saying? They took me. Did he ever tell? Hey, I don't know. You I ain't want to see it. I just see it. <laughs> I ain't want to rub you change, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, 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 uh, um, yeah, they, they took, took me to jail. Uh, grand jury. They did me on the charge. On charge. And only back, and what was so crazy, every time I went to court, like, for, like, tickets and shit after that, they would always bring that. It's like, they would say, I was like, how can they say that? You know what I'm saying? They know it was a self-defense. Yeah, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That wow. was, uh, I never knew that. He, I never knew it that. It was all on the news and everything in that time. Man, that's crazy, so man. So, after that, bro. When I would go somewhere, I was swinging the bank, blowing up. It's blowing up on screw tapes, it's blowing up on the Ew, radio. Yeah. And everybody running up to me, what's up, USG? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, because you, you, you Larry. I'm no, Larry. You know AD saying? told me something like that. He I was found like, out who they were, though. But, but let, let, let me just say this, man. Like, you. You never know, man. Like I said, your legacy is, 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 is like I said on that card was I was we wrote uh, your legacy can't be denied, man. You are the culture, man, and and just the things that you've been through, man. I, I don't. I, you, how do you manage to keep your spirits up even after losing your leg? What? I talk to you and your spirits are so high. You make me have to be like, man, I can't be the way he is. He break. You give everybody spirit in life, man. Look, man. Everybody who I was calling and talking to, they the ones started crying. I bet. I was like, let me get their ass up the phone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, hey, man, because the glass is half empty, half full. Half full, right. If I would have kept that lid, I was going to die. Cause, you Correct. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I almost died. I died twice. I remember you outside. text me that. I died twice outside when the shit happened. I, I, I stopped breathing. Stop two, breathing. Two times. They hit me with the fifth blade one. Boom, boom. And my boy JB kept rubbing my heart. Boom, 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 boom. Hit me on my heart during, uh, uh, during the whole process. Yeah. CPR. CPR. That made me come back. Then when I was in the hospital, I didn't know nothing about it. Bleeding out at night. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the business. I say, oh, this motherfucker, this motherfucker hurt. Don't hurt regular. Something ain't right. I call the nurse. The nurse come. Man, they were like, cold red, cold red. They come in there with like eight, nine deep. And what happened, the arteries was popping. Yeah. Because they had put them in place when the girls trying to say the Say the Boy, just popping, pop, pop, pop. So blood, the whole bed full of blood, blood out on the floor. Wow. So I ain't know my mama could see it. So I just see her. I just see her. Look at, hey, she put the little hood on her head, like, get me out of here. It's <laughs> a good deal with it. Yeah, they rolled out here. Then my brother, my brother, retired chief. Okay. Yeah, in the Navy. Yeah. Secret Service. Wow. Little brother, gangster, gangster. You feel me? He know everything. You know what I'm saying? He he he, he bought the body. So he was like, you know, he had been there with me. He hurry up. He gave me a towel. I put the towel on my mouth. Like, ah. so after I got through, you know, he told me like, nigga, you finna die. You finna die. Yeah, we had, that was we, the third we, time. That was the third time. Mm -hmm. They had the turnkey. They had the, the turnkey. So two nights later. It happened again, like ain't nothing wrong with this leg. But the blood coming on this side, right? Yeah. But it's not the same kind. Oh, you trip. But I don't know it. Oh, though. you, oh, it don't matter. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, yeah, get in here. Hey, hey, baby, hey, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? They like, calm down, Miss V. I said, uh uh, uh uh. So by nine, they all know me. Of course. Yeah, so head doctor, south yeah. side still holding. Oh, they do it. Yeah, everybody know me by nine. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. So, so. They told me that first, you know what I'm saying, like the third, third like the third night, you know what I'm saying, They're like, hey, we have to amputate it. What you want to do? And I say, well, if it's going to save my life, just cut it off. That's real. So, bam, That's real. now my, my hopes are so, so high because every day they telling me, 
the inner side of the leg. So they trying to say that? No, they, they were, were telling me I was good. They were telling me we're not going to have to cut it off. They say, Miss Hill, you good? We're not going to have to cut it off. So I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Lord, I'm like, oh, Lord, that's so <laughs> lie. You know what I'm saying? So that went on for, for days and days. I had all those surgeries. And that last one, when they cleaned it out, it just was painful. It just ain't feel right. And, I, and once they got the little thing, like a, like a, it's not and a that was a picture you showed on on when they were working on it when, when you nah, showed it see on the picture I showed yeah the picture I showed is the pictures that they got on on my file when I first come oh when you first came in so I was out of there okay you know what I'm saying like my first few days I never even looked at my leg yeah 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 cause I ain't know it was that bad yeah I told my brother I say so my leg fucked up he say hey yeah I say like fucked up fucked up. He was like, nigga, fucked up, fucked up. Yeah. I say, so I can't go skip down the hall and get me some coffee. He say, hell yeah, no. Man. man, when they told me what it is, you know, I say, oh my God. I say, damn. So I I made the people put it up so I could take that. Because I'm doc I documented my counsel. I'm a document this. this. You know what I'm saying? So and when they put it up, put it. And a couple of friends and family members was like, man, your your fans and people really don't know where you at or what's going on. Mm -mm. I said, well, you know what? Today will be the day I just give them a little bit. Give them a little bit. So, uh, yeah, and they couldn't it. handle it. A lot of them. No, I couldn't it handle it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I told my wife, I can't. She she can handle anything. I'm weak yeah. as hell. Yeah, a lot of I men. What the hell? Of, I'm, I need to call you, man. Yeah, a lot of men can't look at shit. I'm like weak that. as hell yeah, when it yeah. comes down to So you say ten surgeries? Did you go? Through? I had ten. Since you got here, you done ten surgeries. Since May ten, ten surgeries. I got one tomorrow. Tomorrow should be my last one. You got so one tomorrow. tomorrow. Doctor say tomorrow might be my last one. And then I go straight to rehab. Man. So what they did was they cut me from the knee. You know what I'm saying? First they had, so you, you know what I'm saying? They, they was doing a, uh, you know what I'm saying? They did the skin graft and all that, the skin, skin under them. Yeah. So uh, they cut me right above the knee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like when a couple of people came, you know what I'm saying? I shed some tears when they came because they yeah. walked in the door and they cried and they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. Shit, I don't make money to have dance. No, that's oh, right. yeah. <laughs> you still say I'm great, right? I can get that booth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I make money up here mentally. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and verbally. No, that's real. You know what I'm saying? That's so, so real. That's live though. You know like that you recognize that, that yeah, right it, off. Right you know? off. Right yeah. off. My ain't told me something. Oh, you must you must read what I read. I said, baby, I thought that for you ever sent me. <laughs> <laughs> baby, I am a, I am I tell you, I'm a pastor. Real talk. You feel me? Yeah. I'm just not a regular rapper, I'm a pastor. My yeah. uncle is one of the I got my uncle one of the smartest men in America. I be telling people that he been all on CNN, PBS. He was he led Southern. He was a student president at Southern when when the police come through with the rise and kill those two people. He he was a professor over here, professor at Mississippi, uh, Mississippi Valley State, he was a professor at Jackson State, South Carolina State, and he always embedded certain things in me. That's real. You feel That's what I'm hard. saying? So I live by this certain things. You have to just live by to be smart. To wow. get by. Yeah, that's real. Saying. That's real. If you don't want them to come in here in JFK or nigga. You let me ask you this. When, your fan, when it's all said and done, what is the most important thing that your, fam, your fans remember you by? We ain't got that yet. Okay. You feel me? It's, it's you put in the universe what you want to put in the universe. Now, I ask, I ask they everybody the same question. <laughs> don't I? Watch this. <laughs> in five years, I'm going to be top five dead alive. In five years? In five years. Boom, I gotta go kiss Lil Wayne first. Oh, you are, so you, Lil Wayne's top five? I mean, for it's lyrically down south. Okay. Uh, now, now, if I think about the real, the realm, I, I give people ties. Uh, 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 yeah, Biggie, Pop, Face, Nas, Jay Z. Nas and Jay Z, tied. Biggie and Pop, it's a tie. Wow. You know why? Pac can Pac cannot rap big if if it's about emotion and lifting you up. But if it's about metaphors and flipping back and forth, flipping, lyrics back and forth, Biggie would it be Pac? 
That's real. That's real. You see what I'm saying? That's real. I, I, I get exactly why you say that. Yeah. I just want to say, man, thank you for even doing the interview. I know already, man, it's been tough, but you've been so high spirit. I can't tell it's tough. Yeah. Thank man, you so much yeah. for a great interview. But I want to say meatballs they've been giving me. You know, <laughs> I want to get you over here, Steph, uh, just Mr. Jamaica. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let me get over there because I got to have you on camera um, with me. Before you do that, just go ahead and check. You want to check? You, want to check? you did a good there? job. I'm pretty sure I trust you. Okay. Yeah, that, that looks good. But I'm talking the audio and stuff like that. You want to double check any of that? I'll check it, but here, you need to take this off for of me and put it on you. E, you did, you're you doing good. Appreciate it, bro. No matter, but you ain't going to cover what I'm going to cover. You're not me. You ain't like me. I'm a real, you know, I'm a star. People already told me I was special. She they weren't talking she, about the Jerry. She too scared real stuff. You know. Yeah, I'm going to take this and run with it. E, you got my back right? No bullshit. Oh Lord, my bad, my bad, my bad. I, what that is, cheetah, leopard, zebra? Which one that is? I, 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 I woke up the cheetah, the zebra. Yeah, man. My mama, so hey, my mama, like hey, say, be? say, my mama gangster. Let's not, let's not, you don't see it. Let me explain to you who my motherfucking mama is. <laughs> my mama marched. She run from is where the deacons are the from. Okay. Bogaloo. My mama marched. Why, why? My mama, like, really went to work and bust her ass for me and my siblings. I'm talking about to the point of, like, like I grew up not eating enchiladas because I went to work with her. You feel me? And they used to say, enchilada trays. And they were so goddamn greasy. So I grew up not eating enchiladas, not because of the taste, because I had never tasted them, just because they were so goddamn greasy. And the lady my mama worked for my mama like like really work for these people like you know what I'm saying like go wipe they grannies asses yeah, yeah, and yeah, clean yeah. them and that's how my mama would say it. she ain't say, she ain't use no home help term when she got mad <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's, it's home help when she cool when she heavy when she mad I'm wiping these white folks asses for y'all and y'all you know what I'm saying I remember that was, that was a homeboy I want to say his name from my hometown he had a Nintendo so me and my little brother we you know we stopped by his house at the school and shit he was like come by my house Check out my check out. So we watch it through the window. He playing it. You know, we just stand there talking to him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So when we get home, my little brother tell, tell my mama, yeah, we was at, we was over there, someone so, and so big boy house. We were watching him play the game through the window. Mama said, you was doing what? Through the window? Oh, he ain't let y'all in to play the game? Damn. She said, get y'all ass in the car. We jumped in the car. We went to Walmart. Damn. I said, damn, my mama got some money. I ain't know where my mama got all this money from. Because she put the Nintendo in there and 20 games. She love her kids. But now nah, I ain't know she ain't pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> that means she really love her kids. She said, oh, yeah, my mama gang. She said, boy, hurry up, bring your ass out here. We took out of here. Yeah. She said, you better not let nobody play with him. That's when I knew my mama was a super gangster. But my mama real gangster, though. Damn, Damn. Oh, man. Hey, she's, I ain't gonna put all of it. I ain't gonna put all of it out there. But she ain't smoking no ridges. She ain't She ain't smoking no ridges. Let's go with it. <laughs> Your mama mean the world to you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she, oh, definitely do. And by us being in this little cubicle together, mm -hmm. we both are like, when, when she get mad, she get that look. And uh, My mama would bomb your ass on Facebook. I bet. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? That's how you, you know what I'm saying? You have to be cool, my mama. You can't better play my mama. Like, uh, look, this, I'm going to make you laugh. This lad one mama. Remember this mom? When I was, I was locked out at the house, and I thought it was... I ain't know what time it was been when I was asleep. So, so I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm up late, you know what I'm saying? I go to sleep at three in the morning. I'm thinking she come tapping on it. Boy, you know we gotta get up and get ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. I'm like, damn, mama. She said, like, what's that your bitch ass to sleep then? I say, that's what I know my mama got you. <laughs> I said, damn, my mama ain't never told me that. Made me mad. I got my bitch ass up, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's real yeah. problems, man. Yeah, but that's it's real. what you But mean. see, my family's so big. It was, it was nine. It was nine. Nine. 
nine, nine on five on. So one thing I can tell you, when I walked in and I see how you look, I'm looking at your face, looking at your demeanor, and you just you look good. Thank you know you. what I mean? Right. You looking, I mean, nobody could just tell all the stuff that you just went through because of how you look and how you acting. Say you look make you laugh. There are some comedians, like like I've been tearing their ass up on the underground comedy set, right? So, the next time there was a comedian, and I went to the uh, open mic, and I walked by, he was like, boy, boy, damn, boy, you looking good, boy. I said, okay, appreciate the love. I went back to you later on. He said, man, I ain't gonna lie, boy, you looking good. I said, nigga, you tell me that one more time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but you know, it was just that they thought in their mind a person that's, you know, going through it. Going through it and has cancer and something like that, you supposed to look, man. But it's all mental. Mm -hmm. You feel me with that? You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you just thinking like, oh, I ain't gonna make it, I ain't gonna do it, you gonna get what you ask for. And men, I feel like men have it worse than women because I've heard of so many many men who um, get bad news, especially with cancer and stuff like that, and you hear the next day they're dead. Because they feel like it's a death sentence once you get certain things, like there's no overcoming it. it but you know what that be? go to the hospital a lot less than women. Right. So by the time, you know, a man will put up with that pain for two, three years. Mm -hmm. Nah, you done put up that pain so long. Nah, like, instead of two or three of your polyps being affected, there's ten of them. Mm. So now you toward stage four and there's pretty much nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Because, me, and, and when you think of men, I, you know, in our, you know, like, growing up in our community, they used to think, you know what I'm saying? When you get cancer, it's over. Mm -hmm. But Caucasian, I done met so many Caucasian people come up to me and say, in, in this industry, that, hey man, I had COVID cancer, man. Hey, you'll beat that. That ain't nothing. Mm. That's how they talk. You feel me? That's wow. how they talk. That's why I got, I got a line where I say, uh, I feel like Florida the way I beat up cancer. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, once the doctor automatically told me. It's mental. Yeah, when he, when he say, man, you have colon cancer, I'm like, okay. I know one thing, that's not brain cancer, that's not uh, prostate cancer, pancreatic cancer. Those are the worst. Those are little, those are harder. Mm -hmm. You feel me saying? Like, hard. like he tell me the tumor there went right in there, cleaned it all out. Da, 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 da. I couldn't walk, but it was out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you have risk of certain things come back. Coming so back, that's when you start learning about ways to prevent it. Right. It's like, like dark, so dark, dark. It's not just that all the time. Dark sodas. Your environment. Stress. Your environment. Your well? environment. Your really? environment. Yeah. If you live in a, if you live in a, uh, like an industrial field, mm -hmm. certain kind of place, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? I get it. Yeah, and of course the foods, but there are so many other things that 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 play roles in it. As far as things you put on your body, like <laughs> products and different shit like that, all of that get to be a test to it. But the colon mostly deals with the intestines. See, that's what I hate. That's when you talk why about, when you talk about the products, you know how a new product come out, lotion or whatever, and we love it, it smells good, whatever, then years later on it say, well, if you use this, right. you can now sue now, this, I, this, I this. don't even believe some of them commercials, but we know one thing, I feel colon deals with the intestine. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, of course, over a long period of time, you gotta think, when we was kids, we ate at home. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't get to, man, my mama ain't take, mama, when did we get to eat? <laughs> she, boy, it better be, a, it better be a real, I better be about to graduate. Special I, My MVP football, basketball, so you ain't finna just run no restaurant every day. Mm. See, these kids and, 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 and people go to fast food every day, every day. So, the process, the, that fake meat and processed foods, mm -hmm. going through that colon, it's tearing, to break down. it's tearing it up in a way of, you know, it's infected it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and 
that's one of the main things. But like dark sodas and those processed foods are one of the main things they told me in my environment. Stress in your environment, all that play a key role. So what you say to some of these black um, men who are watching this show right now, um, would you advise them to like start going to do their checkups once a year? Man, man, of course. It's almost like it's almost like a no brainer now. You feel what I'm saying? Like 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 they used to tell you to go at fifty. Now they want you to go at 45. So me, I would suggest you to go at 40. Here's the thing. I'm going to make you laugh first before I get to it. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm, I'm in the hospital. Now this is when they found the, the little tumor. Mm -hmm. And they say, Mr. Hill, you need to come back for another colonoscopy. I'm like, man, I just had one. So like, come in. So when I come back, I got a nurse, you know, she's about 30, no, she's about 40, little, little, little Caucasian lady, little nice little lady. She like, oh, I can't get it, I can't get it, I can't do it. So they had to take an interval with her. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? She say, you want to go to the bathroom and do it yourself? I said, I'll try. So I get to the restroom, I'm like, man, I can't stick nothing to my I tried, I just can't do it. I'm just, you know, I'm just, too gangsta, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how I would, but I'm gonna try. You think about saving your life, but I ain't give a damn. I couldn't do it. So when I get back to uh, back to, to my room, big old town that white boy come walking right there. I said, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we finna find somebody. So, hey, lady, you finna get this. You finna, you finna get this. You finna get this done right now. Cause I would have felt raped. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know that's just how it is. So. As men, that's the mentality, especially in our neighborhood. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, we already, my mama already caught. We already laughed at Baby Sam. Like, Baby Sam won't even eat, eat a hot dog. You know what I'm saying? He cracked jokes like that. His uncle was like, but we have to go get cheap. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, that's one of the main things. Now, you can't check for everything. Right. But that, holy so can it's right. one of those. Especially if it runs in the family. See, you that's not to. true. Really? It's not in your family? Uh, no. All that old hood, I mean, it is, but, but I mean, somebody in my family had cancer, I don't know who. Hmm. But that thinking you uh, are good if nobody. No, 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 no. Thinking you gonna, like, you got it because your uncle or somebody else had it. Mm -hmm. So that's just, that's just a fear. You mm -hmm. can get it with nobody else in your family had it. Oh, wow. And a lot of time when they say about you, you look at a family. If the whole old family is obese, you think she big because her mama was big. And then, no, she big because her mama letting her eat the same thing that she was eating. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that hereditary? She ain't nothing hereditary. Your skin color and all that, hereditary. But for ass, you know, that's just like me saying, I'm going to have uh, my next set of twins going to have one lead. Hmm. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But genes has a lot to do with it too. When I say that, because they do. In what a certain I say, way. personalities. Because I've seen where like kids don't know. Say you lost your your dad as a, a young age, whatever, and you just like him. Your mama said, "Man, you act you you do the same thing, but you've never been around him." That's true. But you're not gonna be fat because he was. <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I mean. That part is definitely true. You don't get your hair out here. Like I don't know. I wish. I, you know. I'm saying I, my shit used to be curious. I need to borrow some of yours. It's yeah. curling out. Yeah, like, yeah. that's because I said that. that, that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but uh, like I didn't know how much I was like my dad. Right. Because I went around my dad when I was young. Mm -hmm. Then when I got older, I realized, yeah, I ain't know how much I went away with my mama. Mm -hmm. Just like my mama. You know what I'm saying? So, and you hear the people voice. People don't even think about that. Think about that next time when you see uh, uh, some brothers. Listen to their voice. Mm -hmm. They talk. They talk a lot. Don't even know it. Right. So you know. I got a question. So okay. So going back to that day when um, you got hit, you said the police found um, the bumper for the detective found the bumper. One person hit you, but you said two people hit you. Mm -hmm. So it was only the first person that hit you at first. That's the person that the bumper they found. No, the first person, like the first person, did did first person was going kind of slow. Okay. They saw me, you know okay. what I'm saying. They were trying to try, try to miss. Trying to slow down. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so they didn't, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't 
they hit me to knock me, you know. Make me go to the middle of the street. But the second car is what did all the damage. All the damage because they ran over you. Right. And then and they slowed down and then it uh, kept on going. Because that's the part because when you posted the pictures, that's what I, I'd, I'd ask baby Sam because I'm like, when you see the pictures and you see all your leg, I mean, half of your leg is gone on the side. And I'm like, they had to have drug you. Like, mm -hmm. you stuck under the car, they drug you, something for all of that to be gone like that. Yeah, they, they hit, they hit, they knocked the out of me, you know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. My mama called me Mr. Twilight. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they found it in DNA on the bump or whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. But you know, it's a win-win for me. I live, I survive. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, it's only up from here. I can't go. I can't go back. I can't go down. So how so, are you using that to um, move forward? How are you using that? Because sometimes you know, people, some people tend to want to say, you know, I want to forget about what I've been through. Hell no. Hell no. How are you using that to move forward? There's a man named. Uh, uh, what was his name? Les Lee Brown. Anyway, Les Brown. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. I know favorite who you're people. talking. I, I, they just kind of retarded, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? When he was a kid, but I didn't listen to him so much. Me going through this, for example, if I was to walk into an auditorium, you know, with some kids, nah. I know how to make them pay attention. They gonna listen to me because the ones that you know where I'm from and they from, we can you know connect on that environment, right? But some of those, they not gonna be able to understand the, if I try to tell them about certain drug use or things not to do, right? Because some of them may have not done it or whatever. Right. whatever. Man, when I take that guy, when I take that leg off. And, and just show them. That's gonna make them. You know what I'm saying? I put, I put, I, I show them all this, all this shit. You feel me? I got this, this, I got two in the bed. You feel what I'm saying? They gotta take off. I've been through some shit, shit. You feel me? And if I name, once I go to name and all the people that ain't with me no more. You feel me? My future is. Three, four more years, five at the most, transitioning from music, mm -hmm. comedy, films, but being that motivational speaker. I, I, I just knew that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a pastor. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't no. want to be a pastor. Just a motivational speaker. Motivational speaker because you're going to help a lot of people. Yeah. And I knew that because when I read that. And it's going to help me. Yeah, because when I read that to you earlier, that's all I could see. That, that, it, that was all what you read. Right, because it's how many people you're going to save because of what you've been through because I remember even um, we interviewed another young lady the other day and her name is Goddess Johnson right okay. um, she's blind she's blind she's blind okay. but um, she went through so many different trauma foster care all of that but um, her trauma came from okay her younger sister she was in the car with her younger sister they were driving and her niece and niece was like seven months old they had a wreck she lost both her sister and her niece. They died. She lived, but the doctor said she wouldn't be able to see. She ended up having to go through surgeries to be able to even get. Right now, she can see like you're looking through a telescope only on one eye, and you can see like a tunnel vision. Right. That's all she can see. That's all she can see. And she, she won Miss um, Beauty Pageant for the blind because she's trying to show. Because she had to go through all sorts of stuff first before she got to that point. But she you know all these young girls are looking up to her. She's like, she didn't realize how many young blind children out here who have self-confident issues. I'm sure they do. All sorts but of But she'll be able to see again. She's I'll like, she, she has a whole different type of vision right now. She'll be able to see again, though. Really? Yeah, cause like, like, it can, you know what I'm saying? Because she sees now, but if it's you just can see a, a If you can see a little bit, it's, it's so many. I'm blind. Ma, I'm blind on ma. <laughs> for real, I might as well be. You know what I'm saying? I got on contacts right now. Your glasses ain't even that thick. Uh, no, these are reading glasses. Hmm. No, I'm blind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, when I was a kid, I used to go to the. Uh, I, I, I on Medicaid. Mm -hmm. We go to the we go to the eye doctor. E. I couldn't. Every pair of glasses that I picked, Medicaid didn't, didn't cover. Hmm. 
<laughs> and I got my heart broke. I got my heart broke from mm. the third grade to the seventh grade. Seventh grade, I look. I said, man, boy, them like some shit run them sell well. I said, man, can I get them? And he finally gave me some glasses <laughs> out of home medicated. Yeah, man, you know, my shit's blind. You know what I'm saying? Not that, man. I'm talking about really. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I have to have my glasses uh, 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 contacts in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, that's that's big for her. That's big yeah, for her. Yeah, because that's all she does now is go around and do motivational speaking, and she helps a lot of people, and she travels everywhere and do it. And she's uh, she's been a blessing to so many people. When I follow her on her social media, the amount of people that give her love. That's and real. It's and you know what? Amazing. In our community, you you got to give them some shit that's gonna hit them in the heart. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Because they're going to overlook you. Yeah. You feel me? And the world yeah. going through a lot right now. Man, look how many people, look how many people like, 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 maybe on the, on, they may be on the corner, trying, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. trying to give you the word. Uh, man, that nigga, that nigga in that car just trying to go to work, or get home, blah, blah, blah. and so you don't even stop to, uh, mm-hmm. to absorb that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you have to give the people what they want. You and know you're the type of person that like to give it real. And I love that fact because because people would listen to you because of the way how you talk. Much less you like to joke around and stuff like that, so you're going to make them laugh with it too. Because right. some people want to cry, but with you doing all that, you, yeah, you can't you yeah, try you to make balance them. it. Yeah, I mean, my, my, like, my, like my brother, you know, he'll be like, man, everything ain't a joke, bro. Hey, man, I'm making it. You got to laugh. I'm making it. I'm crying. Yeah, man, I'm making it happen, man. People don't know. Say, man, I, I, man, I lost my family. Without a wreck, without an accident. I went three houses to none. You know what I'm saying? I walked away with nothing but my my happiness. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you know how hard that shit is? Sitting in the garage by yourself. My son was my best friend. Right. You feel me? And I, could, I ain't get to talk to my son for, for the, uh, kick, kick with my son. People in the rap game that you have helped get to certain levels of support, mm-hmm. they scared to say your goddamn name. Mm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Now I got this over there, you just look at that over there, then you look the same as like each other about the different people that try to pull you down in the past or what you do or your, or your recreational shit. When they doing the same shit, it's just they ain't getting caught. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I'm just was more of a transparent type dude. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, hey, if you my friend, if you my partner, partner, nigga, you gonna know what I do. Mm-hmm. I ain't got time for all that old shit going hiding and hide shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing that I think that nigga should hide. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I ain't, I ain't smoking no tea. I ain't shooting up no hair run. I don't knock with nobody do. I ain't on no crystal meal. I ain't doing none of that shit. How long you been um, sober off of drugs? Who said that? Huh? I just took 12 p- eight pills in front of you. Shit, sober what? I ain't gonna never be sober. God, God didn't want me to be sober. I was designed to be a gangster. I, my uncle was the biggest drug dealer in this other region of Louisiana where I'm from. I started selling drugs at 13. Mm-hmm. Real drugs. Mm-hmm. My whole family, my cousins, I always went to the feds and we was that BMF shit. My grandfather in front of West Side. BMF, that was us as kids. My family, we got it in. Mm-hmm. My mama ain't gonna want me to say all that. We got it in. But look, my mama told me, she say, Boy, if you go to jail selling that dope, don't you call me. I said, Okay. Two weeks later, give me $200. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was travel down all of my life, man. That's a kid, man. That's what that's, we grew up around that shit, man. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. That's just what we grew up around. You know what I'm saying. So, like, you know, I, I'm not on no papers. I'm not on nothing. The doctor, the doctor prescribed me CBD. You feel me? But I ain't smoking CBD. I hit me a little cruise or something. You feel me? But that's so, it. you know, <laughs> that's, that's all I, you need. All that, natural. You, you don't know what I need. I am a different kind of human being. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need no water. Or none of that kind of shit, but you right. know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a different kind of human being. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I, am. I go to a realm where people don't go. Mm. You feel me? And I bring you some shit that you can't you can't fathom. Because PTSD, I always talk about how um, it's not only the military people go through PTSD, nor not only the the um, 
police, but even like street cats, because street cats, y'all be seeing, you see partners getting, being killed in front of you, you see, you know, things that are so traumatic that are regular, what what, what my girl Mar uh, Martina would to call me green, because I'm not exposed to certain things, but you see these things on a regular basis, but you... How can that not be PTSD? P PTSD, you know what now, I mean? Now I know why you asked me that question. Mm. So your friend called you green. There's no way here you can ask me that question. <laughs> uh, man, you just gotta, look how hard it is. I mean, you gotta look up, okay. When you're in a certain environment, you got jack boys mm. to look out for. Police look out for mm. you. Feel me? There's so much thing to look out for if you if you live in that life or in that environment. You feel what I'm saying? And people want you to just snap out right out of it. It's, it's, it's so quick and fast. Mm -hmm. If you are making, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate to say it. If you making five five ten bands a day and something happened where they want you to be scared straight, and you got to go straight. I remember my, I remember my daddy. Oh, I pee my daddy. I remember my daddy told me, son, man, why don't you, why don't you come work with me? I said, how much am I make? He said, you gonna make four hundred dollars every two weeks. Mm -hmm. I said, daddy, bye. <laughs> but you know. It, for somebody, you know, saying somebody, somebody that somebody might have been perfect for him. Right. But me bumping and grinding this rap game as a kid, I mean, from being a mom, I ain't never had no job. And I worked as, you, you know, you know how you've been like seven, eight, nine, ten grade, you had those little uh, summer jobs. Yeah, yeah. For our school and mm -hmm, everything. Mm -hmm. I did that. But once I became, you know what I'm saying, that's nothing wrong. Everybody should, you know, that's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But it just, you know, I call, I call my, I call my drill choice. At, at a young age, right. you know what I'm saying. I got my drill talk fresh out of fresh out of high school. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was convicted feeling. It was hard as hell immediately right then for me. You know what I'm saying? So these so, are things that you carried all the way up till even that night. You know, you said you got a call, and that's what you know see, triggered look, this call. This call, man. This call was a call that made. You know what I'm saying? I I tried to do everything in me to not reveal I revealed to my people that with me, but I tried to do everything in me not to reveal this call to everybody else. Mm -hmm. Now, the person that I got the call about was one of the persons that walked up to me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So like, they were there that night. They was there that night. Somebody told me, say, man, this person who da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at, I got a list. These are five people that did me, did me dirty over my over my over my lifetime. And I got some, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden somebody give you a call. Hey man, number three on your list at that club. Right there in front of you. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like the first thing I think about. That's the devil trying to get you at that moment in time. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Mine you understand be. what I mean? Yeah, because that's be. just a big coincidence that at that time you get that call and this person is right there. That's crazy, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. So you don't think it could have been God? It's the devil, huh? That's the devil. All devil, all devil. The, but remember, God allowed the devil to tempt you in a lot of ways. So God, the devil was trying to see what I was going to do. See what you're going to do. Yeah, I Put that got, temptation right in front of you because yeah. he wanted, he, you could have either, just, like you said, you could have gotten life. Yeah, yeah, I destroyed myself. Oh, God, I'm, the, no. I'm the booger man. I get the good. You know, but right, you anybody, oh, somebody else could have got to hurt. Anybody right. could have got to hurt. But you were yeah. trying to do the right thing by walking out, but. I, so, so, it's a hell of a, so I left it, you know what I'm saying? Right. After that happened, you know, damn, all I said, lose my, lose, lose my leg, you right. know what I'm saying? You know, at least but you got me you, at least you got me But I know you think, how many times a day do you think about that night? None. None. You don't play it back in your head. You don't. None of that. None. I don't give. A, I don't give a damn about that night. I think. I. You know. I've had nightmares since I've been here. But I don't. 
that night, you know what I'm saying? The only time I think about the night is like if we, me and somebody talking about it or something. Oh, okay. It don't come, it don't come to my mind. So you're not the that night. type of person who, because you know some people be like trying to look back and be like, what could I have done differently? Hey, How no, could no, I da 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 da? When I had the murder charge, I ain't, I ain't never thinking about that night like, no more. Even like, you know, and like I hear so much from my son, you know what I'm saying, growing up like, but once he got like 13 and the internet, he was that word. Daddy. You went to prison. Daddy, you shot somebody. You know what I'm saying? The internet, so like I hear all this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I can block out a lot of shit. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know, I am a soldier. Mm -hmm. A real soldier. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like the drugs that I did do. Mm -hmm. They was made for soldiers. Yeah. You know, unfortunately. But then so, some people say the reason why people do that is because you don't have an outlet to, because if you just um, so-called forget it, but you know, subconsciously, you really don't forget it. That's why it attacks you in your dreams and your nightmares. Mm -hmm. So so sometimes people say it's good to just have somebody to talk to to let it out. Whether a counselor, whether it be a stranger, whether it be your mama, whether it be whoever, you have to get it out or else it going internally attack you. Man, when I was younger, like I, every time you like if you come out come out of prison, you know what I'm saying? They would uh you know, you go to the halfway house and all this type of Me personally Everybody that I knew that went to like the, the like the drug means, mm. the A means for them. Mm -hmm. That shit ain't work. Everybody not right there. That. Not in there from most of them say. But now, when they mentally themselves wanted to yeah, uh, you have to want succeed it. Succeed and it work. Yeah, you have to want it. Right then, right on top. You Just know what like I'm you interviewed somebody, right? And they were talking about, um, I think, smoking. With his old pimp, mm -hmm. we interviewed. And he used to smoke like a freight train all the time, everything. And, you know, they, they he was supposed to go to those classes. He tried rehab, all of that stuff. Up. That and alcohol. And the lady in there is like, man, just do what you got to do in here. And when you get back out there, do what you want to do out there because this ain't going to work. The lady working in there told him that. She told him that. So guess what? He went out here, found uh, a guy who does hypnosis. It worked. Man, he See? said, but he said the difference is because he said his girlfriend went with him and it didn't work on her, but it worked on him. The difference is you got to want it. She mm -hmm. didn't want it. She was just doing it because he was doing it. That's just like, that's, that's, that's what didn't think. That's what the music. If you in a rap game and you only in it because you see your friend making money, or he on TV, it is not in you to grind. You ain't gonna make it. Mm. A relationship. If if one person in a relationship, and you know, just just for you know to be the seat filler, mm -hmm. to be because it's beneficial, and this other person in a relationship because they love a person, I love you, it ain't gonna work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why rap groups don't last. Don't you can't uh, see people rap groups don't work no more because it is. You have to be. They have to become partners and friends mm -hmm. because, for example. They got a song. They gonna rap this. This song is, is about the love for a woman. Now this dude in the rap game for money. This dude in the rap game because it's in his heart. Okay, so this dude, when he rap his verse, the, the stuff that he going to say is going to be just shit to make money. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be touching mm -hmm. him. He going to rap it from his heart. The heart. Now, eventually they going to clash because he's in it for the money and he's in it for the culture. Right. Yes. So it's your birthday. Yeah, man. And I know you had a lot of people over already. Yeah, yeah. You know, boys been coming. Little right, show, show me some love. Show me some love. I, I had cake. I don't, got, I don't want no more chicken. I had enough of William chicken. We just they even brought all the William chicken. You they need some brand. Rudy's chicken now. That's what they said. But see, I, the person who told, I told baby Sam. I said, man, they say Rudy good. I, no, and I, yeah, my, you never had Rudy's chicken. Uh, no, uh, really? Rudy say my partner Rudy say Rudy's good as hell. The seasoning good. It's, see, I need some seasoning. Yeah, it's, I ain't gussed the other day. It was too spicy. That gets me in the hospital. You, my pet every time that medicine make my pet different you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying but it's my birthday tell people this I'm three ages okay what's the three ages on Fridays I'm 30 Saturday 
I could be 35 or 40. Oh, okay. On Sundays, I'm 45. You know what I'm mm. saying? So what's today, Sunday? Mm. Today's Sunday. Oh, shit, I guess I got to be 45. 45. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been a blessing, and I was so appreciate appreciated y'all. that, you know, you allowed us to come in here to talk to you. That's real. Because this is something that everybody probably want to know about <laughs> and they're curious about. That's real. But, you know, you know where our heart is. Oh, yeah, y'all, 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 y'all are thin. Y'all are thin. He, he, like, that's my brother. Boy, that boy that did some push-ups for you. He got, he did up some extra push-ups for you. He got swole for the weekend for you. He finna go. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Hey, to have a, have a, have a child going to Brown University is mm-hmm. almost like, mm-hmm. it's like, it's like taking a needle and throwing it all the way from here to Oak Cliff and going through, going through a window. Yeah. Keep him and cutting the TV on. That's a hard, that's a, that's a great accomplishment, We're my brother. We're so proud of her. Yeah, that's real. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's real. So, never love. You know, I went to Brown, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clifton Brown. That's my daddy. <laughs> my daddy named Brown. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that's good. So, y'all let her make it because, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Most most women are smart anyway. Mm-hmm. My coach, she had a 4.6. All the women in my school and in my class were smart. So, I used to just, you know, I was smart, but I just used to cheat on them. Mm-hmm. Cheat on them. I act like I like them and make them do my homework. <laughs> Man. Love y'all. Boss talk. Boss talk 101 and we out.